What's going on Collider Games fans? I'm Caboose and today I'm going to be bringing you guys some awesome easter eggs that I found within Red Dead Redemption 2. There are a ton of hidden secrets located all around the map in the open world of Red Dead 2, but I've compiled five awesome easter eggs that I found within this game. So let's jump into it. Let's start off here. Number one we got, this one is just in the Lemoyne area, just off of the O in Lemoyne. If you head over to this exact marker, you're going to see that you're heading into a bit of a forest here. And as you head down into the forest, if you look exactly where this marker is placed, you should see what is a giant snake hanging off of a tree. Now this snake is not alive, you can't interact with it really in any way, and you can't skin it or anything, so there isn't any pelts to receive here. But the Easter egg from what most people have speculated is that this is Ka, or a reference to Ka, the snake that you find within the Jungle Book, obviously. So this could definitely be a reference to that, of course, it's just, it's a giant snake. So yeah, a cool little Easter egg that you can find for sure. I wish though that it would have been really awesome if you could have skinned the snake and then sold its pelt or created some awesome different outfit or something out of the pelt from the snake over at the Trapper. Now the next easter egg here, if you head over to the location that I have marked here on the map where I currently am, within the T of West Elizabeth, you're going to see that you make your way to the top of a mountain. Head over to the top of the mountain of course and make sure you've packed some warm clothing so that your character doesn't get too cold and loses a bunch of health. And then after you head over to the left down a bit of a slope, you're going to see on your left hand side that there is the remains of a giant or what possibly could be the remains of Bigfoot. Now, a lot of people are speculating that it could be Bigfoot because there's a club that's like broken in two and the club has some nails put into it. And I'm assuming that that is a very famous weapon that Bigfoot uses. So a lot of people are thinking that this could be Bigfoot as well because that there's hair still attached to the skeleton. But regardless, this is a giant's skeleton, a giant's remains. And you can inspect it and do a little drawing in your book. And the character will write that they seem to have found the remains of a giant. Following that, if you head over just outside of Ansburg, you'll see above the Roanoke Valley that there is a cabin sitting on top of a little cliff. When you head over to that cabin, which is specifically marked exactly where I am on the map currently, and onto the roof of the cabin, you'll notice a hole in the roof with smoke pouring out. Go inside the cabin to witness what is a bit of a graphic scene, as unfortunately a family was struck by a meteorite. You can actually crouch down and pick up a piece of that meteorite and put it into your satchel in which you can then sell it to a vendor, I believe specifically the fence. You can also inspect the house and just do a little sketch in your journal and your character will say, well, they're not sure exactly what happened here. So yeah, meteorite crashed into this house, created a bit of a graphic scene, but you can get a piece of that meteorite and sell it over to a fence for quite a bit of cash. Now this next easter egg has quite a bit of steps to it. The first thing you got to do is head over to St. Denis and over to the specific marking that I've put on the map. It also is recommended that you make sure it is nighttime when you begin this easter egg or the steps towards getting this easter egg. Although I have seen some people do this during the day. Of course the last step to it has to be during the night. But you can trigger this and begin it during the day. Just if you want to be safe, make sure it's nighttime and then you can continue on with this easter egg. You go over to the location that I've listed on the map and you'll see some writing on a wall and you can inspect it and your character will write up what is written there in his journal. The writing for the first step says, Oh sweetest of nades, may your blood remain forever on my lips. Six there will be before the lust is sated. Then afterwards head over to this next location and then you'll see just across the saloon there is some writing on a wall, not hard to miss, it's written in pure white and then you can inspect that once again and your character will write up exactly what's said there in their journal. And the next piece of writing says, I drink from the maiden and I live again in the dead, the heart of the ring of blood. Then you want to go near the first steps area within this easter egg, again I've just shown it right there on the map for you. And then you're going to see when you get out that there is this little spot here. It's kind of dark. So again, if it's during nighttime, it might be a little hard to see. But if you head into an alleyway and then to your right, you'll see again written on the wall in red is some more writing for you to inspect. Your character will write it up in their journal. And then this one says, with one long kiss, I draw the life from her and await the outpost of advancing day. So I think you're starting to get the idea of exactly what could be going down here. But continuing on, you'll head on over to this location marked between the I and the S in St. Denis. And then you'll see right where you would head over to the trapper. Off to the right is this gated off little enclosed area. 
open the gate by just walking up to it and then you'll see on your left is another piece of writing for you to inspect and then this time it says i feed again the blood of life the circle has begun and then the last piece of writing for you to inspect will be located just towards the train tracks where the shoreline is you'll see on the back side of the butcher and general store there is a alleyway that you can head down to and again written in white on the wall easy for you to see will be the last piece of writing and then you can inspect it of course write it down in your journal and that will complete the major steps for you to initiate this easter egg the last wording says Five bones under the perfect star, Nosferatu with Dominica will become mortal again. And as you can see, as Arthur draws in their journal here, that the locations of the writings was definitely of no coincidence. And now if you've been doing everything in sequence, you might notice that it's starting to become daytime. In order to complete this Easter egg, you'll want to make sure that it's about one in the morning. So either rent a room or whatever you got to do to get some rest make sure until it's just about one in the morning to then head over to this location that i've marked on the map if you notice on your map that there is an x marked for a corpse you'll know that the easter egg is ready to be initiated head over into this alleyway and then you'll see that a vampire is sucking the blood of a poor victim and you can talk to him have a bit of a conversation with him he'll tell you to leave him alone otherwise he'll come after you next and if you continue to antagonize him then he'll get up and try and kill you now don't let him get close because if he gets close he will kill you and that ruins the chance of you actually killing him and being able to get a new dagger added to your compendium so just back up as soon as he stands up get far back enough to where you can either pull out your gun or pull out your lasso and you can either tie him up with the lasso or just kill him and then you can loot his body for some bat wings and stuff and then of course pick up that new dagger for you to have in your collection and within your compendium it's a new weapon that you can actually just straight up keep and it's pretty damn awesome this easter egg is another creepy one because you're just led into this dark alleyway and you see that there's straight up an actual vampire sucking the blood of a victim and then he wants to come after you and kill you it's pretty nuts it's pretty out there and rockstar really did a good job with this easter egg because it's not easy to trigger like i said you have to come here at a very specific time but from what i've noticed it's right around 1 a.m in the morning and you have to make sure you check your map and if you see that there is listed a corpse on the map then you'll know the easter egg is ready to initiate now for the last Easter egg, you'll want to head over in between and above the N and the O in New Hanover and you'll see that there is this cabin sitting near the woods. Head over to the cabin during the daytime and you'll notice that there are a ton of corpses lying around and just decaying bodies. There's some stuff for you to loot and just walk around and just explore, but if you head over to the main table at the front, you'll see that there is a letter sitting on the table for you to read and it says, Mysterious Sermon at the second hour under the half moon by the great love and grace of our savior, Coco Waba, I believe that's how you pronounce that, Voyager of time and galaxies, we cast off your corporal shell so his vessel can take our spirits to the promised realm to live in peace and power until the 2000th year when we will return for the new chosen and worship once again at the peak of mount shan in his love we rejoice always after reading this letter head out of the cabin because you are completely freaked out like i was and never come back no no don't don't do that you're going to want to come back because that's how you complete the easter egg go out into the wilderness or whatever just get a little far away from the cabin and set up camp and go to sleep and make sure you are awake and ready before 2 a.m then Head back over to this cabin once again, and right around the time when it's about 2 a.m. in the morning in-game, you'll see once you walk into the cabin that a mysterious green light will shine upon you, and right above you as you look up will legitimately be an actual UFO. A flying saucer will be right there for you to look at, and it will stick around for about two hours in-game time before it flies away, or if you walk out of the cabin, it will immediately fly away. But you can get a good look at it and see exactly what it looks like for a couple of seconds before it just shines off into the sky and then it's completely gone forever but man it is a creepy freaking awesome easter egg and it just makes me wonder you know we got undead nightmare with red dead redemption could we get something cool like aliens or something like that in terms of a single player story dlc for red dead redemption 2 I certainly hope so. I loved what they did with Undead Nightmare and how out there it was. So I would love to see Rockstar explore something like that with Red Dead Redemption 2. But that's five awesome Easter eggs within RDR2 and now I kick it to you guys. Have you gotten to trigger or activate any of these Easter eggs or explored any of these Easter eggs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and which one 
was your favorite. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, a positive rating would be appreciated. And then you can subscribe to the Collider Games channel for more Red Dead Redemption 2 coverage, as well as all gamer coverage. That said, I'm Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.